In the cell's nucleus, DNA wraps around histone proteins to form structures called nucleosomes. Covalent modification of the N-terminal tails of histone proteins is a fundamental mechanism of epigenetic gene regulation. Trimethylation of lysine 27 on histone H3, catalyzed by polycom repressive complex 2 or PRC2, leads to gene silencing of developmental and cell fate determining genes within multicellular organisms. All four core PRC2 subunits, ECH2, ED, SUS12, and RBAP4648, have been proposed to contribute to nucleosome binding. The recognition module, ED, detects trimethylated lysine 27 of histone H3, the catalytic product of PRC2 activity, leading therefore to the characteristic allosteric activation of the set domain within ECH2. PRC2 is known to be more efficient methylating dinucleosomes than single nucleosomes or histone peptides. Together, these properties probably facilitate local H3 trimethylation spreading, causing the formation of heterochromatin domains and gene repression. In this study, we provide direct visualization of PRC2 chromatin interactions through cryo-electron microscopy structures of PRC2 in the specific context of dinucleosomes containing one unmodified substrate nucleosome and one activating nucleosome in which the lysine 27 on histone H3 is trimethylated. And the structures show how a single PRC2 via interactions with nucleosomal DNA positions the H3 tails of the activating and substrate nucleosome to interact with the ED subunit and the set domain of ECH2, respectively. We show how the geometry of the PRC2 DNA interactions allow PRC2 to accommodate varying lengths of the linker DNA between nucleosomes. Taken together, other structures illustrate how an epigenetic regulator engages with a complex chromatin substrate. Our work provides a framework to probe the mechanism of how differences in nucleosome spacing may lead to changes in methyl transferase activity.